Oh, but don't slam the... <laughs> that boy is always in such a rush. Strawberry tarts! I thought you might be back. Fantastic! Thanks, Mum. You're wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Now, you behave yourself and do what Mrs. Badger tells you. I will, Mum. Goodbye! Mmm, there's nothing better than that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Constable Growler, I'm sorry, I was... I mean, I wasn't looking, and then... Then you came round the corner and, um, um... Care for a strawberry tart? Oh, no, thank you. No eating while on duty. Against regulations. Now then, young Rupert, where are you off to in such a hurry? Just off to spend the weekend at Bill's. Right then, on your way. But I expect you to exercise a bit more caution along the public thoroughfares. Yes, sir. Bill is always on at me about being late. Luckily, this old shortcut will save a bit of time. What are you doing wow. here? I'll tell you what you're doing. Trespassing on private property is what? Private property? But, but Nutwood Court is deserted. Yeah, well, not no more. Unless your name's Sir Jasper, which it ain't. You are trespassing. I didn't know that anyone had moved in. So, so that's not really trespassing, is it? Uh, don't go and try to confuse me with your fast talk. You're coming with me. Wait, I can explain. Tell it to Sir Jasper. Yes, that's a good idea. I'm sure he'll understand. What were you doing prowling around my property? But, sir, I didn't mean any harm. My pals and I always take the shortcut through... I do not take kindly to trespassers. But Nutwood Court has been empty for so long, I thought... Quiet! I'll not abide excuses. I suppose you expect me to let you go unpunished for your crime. Crime? But, but I didn't... Stop sniveling! I'll let you go this time on one condition. You will warn the other little brats in this dreary village to stay off my property if they know what's good for them. Y yes sir. Ah! I assure you that if I catch you trespassing again, I will not be so reasonable. Scrog, show him the way out. Sir Jasper and usually so gentle. You were lucky. Funny, I don't feel very lucky. What was that? Haven't you never heard a cat before? Not one that sounded like that. Forget about it. You better just learn to mind your own beeswax. Beeswax? Ugh, what a nasty pair. I'm sure that sad cry wasn't made by a cat. Whatever it was, it sounded lost and lonely. Something strange is going on at Nutwood Court. Hey, there's Bill. I wonder what he's up to. Bill! Yeah. Wait till I tell you. Shh. Get down. Shh. What do you suppose those two are up to? They're probably more of Sir Jasper's men. Who's Sir Jasper? I'll tell you on the way to Constable Growler's. Come on. Constable Growler? This must be serious. I was taking the old shortcut when all of a sudden a nasty man grabbed me by the shoulders. And then I heard the strangest cry coming from the basement. It sounded like someone in trouble. Don't forget about those two other suspicious-looking strangers we saw skulking around. Spies, I'll bet. I think we should go out there and investigate. Funny you should mention that, Rupert. As it happens, I was just on my way to Nutwood Court, and I think it would be a good idea if you boys accompanied me. Sir Jasper has called a file a complaint about someone trespassing on his property. Couldn't we go and search the basement right now? I'll show you where it is. Now, Rupert, you know I can't go searching people's homes without a warrant. 
Everything by the book, you know. May I help you? Afternoon, sir. I wonder if I might have a word with the gentleman of the house. Won't you please come in? Yes, sir, Jasper will be with you shortly. He's not a butler. That's the one that grabbed me. Constable Growler, how good of you to respond so quickly. Just doing me duty, sir. <laughs> ah, I see you've apprehended our little prowler. I thought it best to bring young Rupert along so that we might clear up this matter. Please don't misunderstand me, Constable. I don't want to get the young fellow into any trouble. It's just that I'm planning on having some landscaping done. That means there will be excavations and dangerous equipment on the grounds. I understand, sir. I'll see to it that the youngsters are told Nutwood Court is out of bounds from now on. Thank you, Constable. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt taking the old short cut. Very considerate of you, sir. Good day. But you haven't asked him. I heard a cry for help this morning coming from your basement. Rupert! <laughs> I remember now, sir. He heard a cat meowing. It wasn't a cat! Was too. Constable Growler, you've got to believe me. All right, Rupert, all right. If you wouldn't mind, sir, perhaps we could take a look just to assure the lad that nothing is amiss. I'm a very busy man, Constable. I don't have time to play games. I understand, sir, but Rupert here is a very observant lad, and he's not the type to play pranks. What? Satisfied, Constable? Yes, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience. Right then, lads. Let's not trouble Sir Jasper any further. But I'm sure that something strange is going on. We should search the grounds. That would hardly be by, by the... By the book, I know. But couldn't you forget about the book just this once? Rupert! What kind of police constable would I be if I didn't follow regulations? Now, you run along and don't let me catch you bothering Sir Jasper again. Yes, sir. But I'm sure that it wasn't a cat that I heard. I'm with you, Rupert. There's something funny about that Sir Jasper. But what can we do? I'm not so sure this was such a great idea, Rupert. Maybe it was a cat you heard after all. Bill, I'm positive that it was... Definitely not a cat. Oh, shut up, you... Get down! And you'll keep quiet if you know what's good for you. Hey, I'm getting sick and tired of coming out here every five minutes. I'm not getting paid enough for playing nursemaid to somebody... Of its wits. <laughs> there, there, little fellow. We won't hurt you. It's all right. We're friends. I'm Rupert, and this is Bill. I think he's telling us his name. Yum? Yum! Don't worry, Yum. We'll help you. Bill? We can't leave him locked up in Sir Jasper's basement. You're right. We'd better get him out of here before... Who's there? 
I told you to shut up! <laughs> Any more out of you, I'll have you stopped and mounted! Yeah, if you ask me, it's more trouble than it's worth. I've had a decent night's sleep in it. Well done, Yum. Now let's get you out of here. Uh, maybe if I feed the fuzzball, it'll keep its trap shut. Hey! Yeah, what's that? Those kids, boss, and they've got the fuzzball. What? After them, you fool. Ah! Yeah! Run! Run! Ooh, oof. I've got him. No, you don't. Huh? Hey! Oh! Hey. Huh? I thought you had him. I, I do. I've got. Well, I mean, I did. He was right in me hands, but you imbecile. <gasps> That little beast is worth a fortune! Yum! Ah! Over here, Bill! Don't worry, boss. We'll find them. We're too easy to spot if we stay together. But don't worry, I've got a plan. You two hide here while I get Constable Growler. All right, Rupert, but be careful. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Poor little fellow. You must be tired. You get some rest, I'll... <sighs> Keep watch. Faster, Constable Growler, faster! I hope you're right about this, lad. Don't worry. Wait until you see... <gasps> They're gone! Rupert, if this is some sort of... Now we've got them! All right, you little... Constable Growler, how fortunate that you're here. Scrog and I heard someone prowling about the grounds. Obviously, this impertinent bear is up to more of his pranks. What have you done with Bill? They must have taken Bill and the this little... This ill-mannered brat has caused me too much trouble already. Well, sir, there is the matter of Rupert's young friend, Bill. If he has gone missing... Scrog and I saw him only moments ago, running towards his home as fast as his legs could carry him. He obviously lost his nerve and left his accomplice to take the blame for their little joke. That's not true! Would never... Constable, it is utterly ridiculous that you continue to let this young delinquent lead you by the nose. Need I remind you that I have friends in high places? Do you like your job, Constable? Yes, sir. I pride myself on good. If you wish to keep it, I suggest that you perform your duty and keep this meddling trespasser off my property. Ha ha ha! Ah, that's telling him, Sir Jasper. I'm sorry, Constable Growler. I still think we should go back and search the grounds. Without a warrant? Without a shred of hard evidence? Rupert, you're asking me to break the law. If the law is going to let Sir Jasper get away with this, then it should be broken. Rupert, it's bad enough that you've suddenly taken to trespassing and playing silly pranks, but now you've gone too far. Run along to Bill's. I'll expect you to leave Sir Jasper alone and don't bother me with any more of your fanciful stories. Sir Jasper has probably locked Bill and Yum up in the basement. 
But it ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. If we don't find them soon, your head will be my next trophy. Hey, you two are on our side? Wait! We've got to go back there and find my friends. It's at times like this I wish Pongping had given me Chinese lessons. That's it! I've got a great idea. My friend Pongping is Chinese. He can translate. Follow me. No, wait. You don't understand. Pongping's place is right here. Rupert, it is about time you got here. Have you been expecting me? Hello, Rupert. Bill, yum, you're safe. But how, uh, what, uh... Please allow me to make proper introductions. This is Wing and Wang. Pleased to meet you. And thank you for getting me out of a tight spot. And you have already met Yeti Yum. <laughs> Yeti? You don't mean to say... That's right, Rupert. Little Yum here is an abominable snowman. <laughs> Isn't he a bit, well, small? <laughs> He's just a baby, Rupert. The Yeti live in the far high mountains of China, where they are highly honored by the mountain folk who live there. But unfortunately, the Yeti are also very rare. Wing and Wan have come to rescue Yum, and they ask me to help get him back to his home. Of course. They can use your direct lift to China. But... Why are they still here? Is it broken? No, it is working perfectly. Yet he yum refused to go. He would not leave until he was sure that his friend B. Rupa was safe. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Goodbye, yum. Safe journey. That's right, yum. Friend. What a touching scene. You said your goodbyes. Now hand over the beast. Never! No! no. <laughs> What's all this then? Constable Growler, how fortunate you've arrived. These thieves were about to make off with valuable property which they have stolen from me. Theft now, is it? That's a very serious charge. He means yum. We're returning him to his home. Well, Constable, what are you waiting for? Make them hand over the beast. <laughs> I'll have to make a full report before returning the stolen goods, sir. But have no fear. I fully intend to see that justice is carried out. But, Constable Growler, it isn't justice if Yum is locked up in a cage. If anyone belongs behind bars, it's those two. Rupert, I've told you before. Everything has to be done by the book. Now then, firstly, place suspects and evidence in a secure holding area. If you must, Constable. I wouldn't want them to escape, sir. This garden shed will do nicely. But, Constable Growler, you know this isn't a shed. It's Pong Ping's lift to China. A lift to China? Really, sir? What sort of wild tale will they try next? All right, you lot. In you go. I'm a very busy man, Constable. Can't we get on with this? Yes, sir. As you wish. All right, Rupert. You know what to do. I do? Of course I do. Huh. Hey! What? Looks like the game's up, boss. Shut huh? up, you fool. Constable Growler, it was all an act. You mean you were on our side all along? Well, Bill, while you and Rupert were out skulking about, I was doing some investigating as well. According to this report from Scotland Yard, the authorities of several countries would like to have a word with these two concerning a variety of serious charges. You're the greatest, Constable Growler. You said it. Most honorable. Now, now, lads, go easy on the superlatives. Just doing me duty. 
Everything. By the book. And now I see why. I'm sorry I questioned police procedures. I hope I didn't get in the way. Well, Rupert, I think we make a pretty good team. You do? Yes. If it hadn't been for your unorthodox approach, Jasper and Scrog may not have been flushed out of hiding. And there's no telling what may have happened to little Yum. Hang on, everyone. The lift turns over now so that we do not arrive in China standing on our heads. <laughs> <laughs>